Anatole by Arthur Schnitzler offers a revealing glimpse into late 19th century Viennese society through a series of vignettes that collectively portray the eponymous characters' tumultuous relationships with women. Anatole, a charming and fickle young man, embodies the complexities of modern love, weaving together themes of fidelity, insecurity, and the pursuit of pleasure. The play is structured as a series of one-act dialogues that chronicle Anatole's interactions with different women, with each episode illustrating a distinct facet of his character. His relationships range from casual infatuations to more serious affairs, yet all are marked by his inability to commit fully. This pattern speaks to Schnitzler's critique of the superficiality and transient nature of bourgeois relationships in Fin de Siècle Vienna. One of the central themes explored is the conflict between idealized romance and the realities of human emotions. Anatole often expresses a yearning for deep, true love but remains incapable of sustaining such a connection. Instead, he flits between lovers, unable to relinquish the thrill of the new. His inability to commit is underscored by a constant suspicion of infidelity in his partners, projecting his own inner turmoil onto those he loves. This cycle of mistrust and betrayal hints at the fragility of romantic relationships in a society undergoing rapid modernization, where old certainties about love and fidelity were crumbling. In the vignette, Anatole's questioning, Anatole's obsessive insecurity is on full display as he devises a hypnosis scheme to determine whether his lover Cora has been unfaithful. Despite the humorous tone, the episode reveals his profound psychological unease and the fragility of his self-image. The comedic setup becomes a vehicle for exploring the darker undercurrents of jealousy and the destructive power of doubt. Schnitzler also plays with the notion of performance in relationships, a motif that runs throughout the play. The characters often seem to be performing roles, with Anatole portraying the sophisticated lover while his partners adopt personas that reflect what they believe Anatole desires. This theatricality reinforces the idea that relationships are inherently deceptive and that people present curated versions of themselves to others. In this way, Anatole prefigures Schnitzler's later work, La Ronde, where the interplay of desire and pretense is similarly dissected. Max, Anatole's confidant, serves as a foil to Anatole's romantic idealism. His pragmatic outlook contrasts sharply with Anatole's emotional vacillations, and he often provides a sobering commentary on his friend's escapades. Through Max's observations, Schnitzler subtly critiques Anatole's self-centeredness and his failure to recognize the needs and desires of the women he pursues. The setting of Vienna at the turn of the century is significant, as it was a city at the crossroads of cultural change. Schnitzler captures this zeitgeist, reflecting the anxieties and contradictions of a society in transition. The characters are driven by a desire for modernity yet remain entangled in the conventions of the past. Anatole's restless pursuit of love and excitement echoes the broader social atmosphere, where established norms were increasingly questioned. In Anatole, Schnitzler crafts a work that is both a biting social commentary and a nuanced exploration of individual psychology. His portrayal of Anatole is not without empathy, as he recognizes the tragic undertones of his protagonist's actions. Anatole embodies the confusion of a generation caught between tradition and progress, seeking fulfillment in a world where old certainties no longer hold sway. Ultimately, the play reveals the inherent tension between desire and reality, a tension that continues to resonate in modern understandings of love and relationships.